I just completed one of the strangest LEGO hauls I've ever had. From some very new sets to some definitely not very new sets, this haul sure was an interesting one. So let's take a look at it. One of the first things I bought on this haul was the Captain Rex's Y-Wing. I ordered it at Target, and I was able to pick it up. I don't know how, because I feel like this set is out of stock everywhere right now. So I was very lucky to find it. And the set looks pretty good, but the main standout here is definitely the minifigure, and I will get into this more in my review. The second thing I got was very strange. I went into a secondhand store, and I came across this. A very random thing to find. It looks really cool though, so I picked it up, and it was only $8, which is definitely a steal for what it is. I'm going to unbox it soon, I just really don't want to ruin the box, because this is super cool. I really like how it says Legoland on the corner. At that same secondhand store, there was also this Lego set. This one didn't come with a box, but it is also very old. I tried building it, as you can see in the bag, some of it is put together, but it isn't complete, so I think I'm going to add some of the bricks from my own collection to complete it. Moving from one interesting thing to the other, I got these. I found these at a rummage sale for $20, and I think I got a good deal on them. They are a bunch of basketball players, and I don't know much about them. I think they might be the newer versions, because I have some of the older ones, and they just seem a little bit more detailed than that. But the only player I really recognize here is Kobe Bryant. Well, one of the main reasons I bought the set was because there was a Milwaukee Bucks player in the bag, and I live in Wisconsin, so I thought that was pretty cool. The final things I bought were a bunch of new sets. I bought these all to Target, and I got some really good deals on them. First thing I bought was this LEGO Clone and Joy Battle Pack. I got it for $5 off, which I thought was a really good deal, so I just bought that. I also bought the Obi-Wan Starfighter for a deal. That one was like $7 off, and I don't have that yet, so I just definitely wanted to pick that up. The final Star Wars set I bought was this Grogu's Escape set, and let's be honest, I really just bought this set for the lamp. And the final thing I bought on the whole haul was this Fast and Furious car set. This one, if you have been following the channel for a while, you will know why I bought it. If you comment down below why I did, I will give you a shout out in the next video, so see if you can find a hint in one of my older videos to why I bought this. But overall, even though this haul includes some very strange things, I'm glad I bought all of it. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.